Tilla, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we will not be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Keep in mind, if you want to watch any of the older um, recordings, like older lives, or you want to catch new ones, the next ones, twitch.com. The username is at the bottom of the screen, man. Don't forget, in the description, you got the Patreon, and you also got the uh, merch as well. This is Police Interceptors. This is Season 22, Episode 2. But these ones are two episodes in one, so I'm not sure what's what. We'll figure it out. YouTube, if in, if there's a live person reviewing this, there is no cursing in this video. Please don't come back saying there's cursing. No, there's not. I don't curse in my videos, and the show doesn't curse. Second of all, any drug paraphernalia, it is blurred out. So please don't use that as an option. I'm talking directly to you because I know you're watching. Stop it. Don't do me like that. <laughs> and anyway, here's my warning. Let's get into it. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Talk to me. An interceptor is a formidable force. But one cop can only do so much. Stop! Stop! It is all about teamwork. We cannot do the job alone. Facts. We're not a one-man army. We are a team. Um, and that uses everybody within that firearms, police, helicopter, really to, to do the job to the best of our ability. Never reacted to that. It's the wee small hours and a major crime has occurred that calls for a concerted team effort. Two males have turned up at an address um, threatening the occupants. Um, they're both believed to have machetes and one of them has um, got a handgun. Allegedly. One report suggests it's a sawn-off shotgun, and the gunmen have already fled. They're on a motorbike, so we're just getting ourselves and our units into the area. We'll meet up, the firearms team will get kitted up and we'll go off in convoy. Arriving at the rendezvous point, dog handler Duncan Matthews. Dunk's been on the force for 19 years. He once turned up to a dog training course without his dog. I can see that. I can see him doing that. Bro got on a, a overly saturated collared shirt. Like, what is that? But he's better prepared tonight. <laughs> Police dog Tia is prime for action, ready to support a significant firearms presence. Presence. They keep getting glimpses, don't they? With dogs and firearms kitted up, armed response vehicles or ARVs roll out to intercept the gunman's motorbike. ARVs. Oh, you, man, listen. With eyewitnesses, you can never get away. Not with a firearm. They are these. Location. Not in the UK. Road at the minute. While the thousand feet up. Oh yeah, yeah! They just sent out a UAV strike on for this. They're not letting this go. Yeah, we're bombing half out. The eye in the sky sees all. Control we should be getting our downlink images. The National Police Air Service chopper has more gadgets than 007, and the fleeing bike can't hide from its thermal imaging camera. And there it is, buddy. Yeah, out of there. It's lights out at this moment in time. The vehicle is five left turns ahead of you, so keep coming. 
five left turns is a crazy description. <laughs> yeah, just make five left turns. You got him. The, the net's tightening. One. Coming towards you now, on your left. Three armed units move to block the road. Left. Turn, just there. But the masked gunmen <laughs> mount the pavement and they're away. Hidden by Halloween masks, they honestly it don't even matter though because the you know who's on your tail? That chopper is inches up. from a collision with a two-ton cop car. Uh, he's now onto the Bradford Road. Uh, wrong side. He's uh, the offside, wrong side of the carriageway. The riders taking big risks, but interceptors must tread carefully. Still two up, no helmets. Uh, uh, just look like jackets, no protective gear as I can see. The speed is quite high at this time. Uh, They're going to have to split up. Um, he's got nothing behind him directly. With ARVs catching him up, the rider presses home his advantage and takes a rural road. Straight over, straight <laughs> over, appears to be uh, an off road. Now he's Kidroid Lane. He's onto Somerset and he's straight over onto Longley Lane. Stand by, he's turned off. Uh, and he's now into the Penny Spring Wood. It's dense woodland, but not dense enough. They are off and running, off and running. They have decamped uh, and they are on the foot, trudging across the. Uh, it's quite, they're quite slow at the moment. There's a lot of vegetation in there. RVs are struggling to get close. We there, me, with lots of knowledge. Uh, directors, please, you've got uh, three ARVs behind you. We'll get but the chopper doesn't miss a trick, including the suspects digging in the ground. Yes, is there somewhere marking that location? I think you should bury something in the ground. Or... I passed three one. Yes, yes, to top If they buried something, it's definitely that firearm. Odds are, it's not spring bolts. You can probably see our nights on. I've uh, I've lit these two up because um, it is pitch black out there. The chopper searchlight bathes Penny Spring Wood in 40 million candle power. 40 million candle. Even so, this is needle in a haystack stuff. I still uh, can't see nothing. The trees at this moment in time. Um, we've got the uh, thermal out area contained. They're in danger of losing them. We're still getting glimpses of them on the camera, but they are very faint. They are in and amongst the trees. While the chopper hunts, Duncan and the ARV team throw a ring of interceptors around the woods. We've contained this as soon as we got here. The chief yeah, I don't think that they know they're not getting away. That's why they're taking the, this other route of burial. Concern is that an accomplice sneaks into the wood to retrieve whatever's buried there. Can I help you? Good morning, sir. Good morning. <laughs> hey, that was the most British introduction that I, what did he say? Bro, what's good morning, sir? <laughs> Tevis buried there. Can I help you? Good morning, sir. Good morning. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. You what are you doing? doing? I'm in the bed. You lot woke me up, so I've come to have a look. You've seen enough, mate. First of all, you parked in a bus stop. Secondly, well, the bus is this time of night, yeah, it's still on a fence. Secondly, you're inside the inner containment of a firearms operation. So, for your safety, I'd like you to move away, no. please. Thank you. No one's getting in. Get back out the area, please. Or out. Get back out the area. And air support has a sighting of the suspects. We need a unit to Longley Road, please. There's like a large house, and they're in and around the back garden of that. Oh, this is... So, wait, how did they... It's a chopper. They got the coordinates down. They probably wrote it down. At least one man is in the garden of a detached house. Look at how big these are. Where is this in the UK? And armed units are all over it. There is an outbuilding at the back of the property, the back of the garden. Um, the door is slightly ajar on it. Door that you see the jar, is it a cabbage door? Yeah, the uh, unit at the black side. Um, it's that outbuilding just to your near side. 
It looks like the armed men are in this shed. I've got that right hand corner, mate. And with automatic rifles trained on the window, two definitely over when I'm coming on out, officers. Armed officers advance. Armed, please show yourself. I don't need a recap. I'm Combined. sorry. They bailed into a wood. They are very fast. Reports say the men had machetes and a sawn-off shotgun. Now they're in danger of being shot. One man is hiding in a car inside. On your back. Keep your hands, Keep your hands where you can see them! Don't He's make no crazy moves. Keep them towards us! I still give it up to y'all police officers, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all firearm trained officers. This is not a thing in America. That you see how he switched from the the rifle to the taser. In America, the rifle would have been out the entire time. What do you mean? One nicked. Put your down behind your back. Stay down. Stay down. Is there anyone else in the gallery, bro? Give me this arm. Give me this arm. Give me the Sam. There's no sign of his partner. Is there anyone else in there? No. I promise. A life may depend on that promise. Where's your mate? I don't know. Six up the clock! Cuffs on! If his mate's inside... You sound like a Gallagher. ...and not showing himself, he's taking crazy... I don't know where Lip is. I don't know where Lip is. <laughs> ...risks. My bad. Roll over. Bring your knees up. Bring your knees up. But as the suspect is led away... I don't know, Mandy. I don't know, Mandy. <laughs> My bad. I'm getting good, Loki. Stand up. Get him out of the way. A search reveals the only thing left in the shed is shotgun... I'm not lying. ...cases. Where's the weapon? Where are the weapons? Where's the weapon? I keep trying to tell you. The answer to that question may well be... Any spring wood. Was that Digga D? The, the answer to that question. No, it ain't. May well be any spring wood. I think you should bury something in the ground, though. At this point, you're under arrest. Yeah, for possession of a firearm, the intent to cause fear of violence. All right. You're going to jail, buddy. Arrest is one thing. Any conviction hinges on the alleged firearm. And by daybreak, they found the motorbike and... Found crushed down area. They have coming from other side. Nothing else. Dang! We found the area where they believe something's been discarded, but it's just... It's chest height with brambles. They can't search it properly, basically. They're going to put a load of officers on there and keep a scene on until the morning. Um, or until later on and we'll get a proper search team to come in and cut all the brambles down and look for it. Good kill, kill. So as of now, they fruit they... A thorough search of the wood uncovered a smooth-barreled, sawn-off shotgun. Ah. Shed man... Bro had that ye old shotgun, ye old shotgun. ...pleaded guilty to possession of a firearm, possession of a knife, dangerous driving, and possession of cannabis. He received six years in a young offenders institution and a four-year driving ban. They didn't catch the other one? His partner in crime slipped through the net, but he's now a wanted man. How? Y'all don't know who he is. It's Saturday night. Interceptors are busy painting the town blue. Off to 
Leeds Road heading towards Barrick. They're racing to intercept a stolen Kia hatchback with false number plates. You got the colour of it? Dark grey. Ma'am, who are you and where is Lisa? You know, I'm getting tired of this. Stop disrespecting Lisa. Y'all know what she do. Y'all know how she get down. The driver and passenger are wanted on suspicion of burglary and assault. There's quite a few going down. So um, try and get down there as quick as we can. It's going to be a good job if we can drop on this one. Yeah, be a really good one. So it's going to be coming up to the Barrick roundabout, which is not a million miles away from here. Behind the wheel. He said she. Somebody's in the chat said she looked the same as Lisa. No, it ain't. We were. It, we thought that was Lisa at first because we was excited. He was like, "Oh, there's Lisa. That ain't Lisa." And I'm disappointed about it. This lady is thinner than Lisa. Doesn't do CrossFit. Um, blue eyes, blonde hair. You. Come on. Come on. Chris Basto. Chris used to work answering 999s at the police call centre. These days, he's a man of fewer words. Move, 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 move! The suspects may be dangerous, and Chris is desperate to lock them up. Where is it, Lisa? Come on. That's not really cross yet. That's just around the corner. And that's there go. the stolen car. She looked like she'd chew gum good. An agonizing three point turn later, and they're playing Strange. catch up. It's a <laughs> Strong jaw. What are you on? Riding shotgun, Sergeant Sophie Hawkswell. Ah, sweet. Sophie, okay. Talk to us. The so. Sarge is an all-action fitness fanatic who's no. Oh, this is. Uh, we did meet her before. Okay, we know who Sophie is. Slouch over 100 meters, and she's about to get a chance to prove it. Out and running, out and running. The men have ditched the car and done a runner. Railway road. Railway road. Sophie's out of the traps like a uniform greyhound. Sophie, cut chill, dude. Lisa would never. I'm talking about never. Sophie got about that car and ying, ying, ying. And you know what? I want to apologize to Sophie because I said she didn't do CrossFit. I obviously lied because the description of her was she's a fitness fanatic. And the way she just hopped out this car, hurdled a bush, and did the 40-yard dash in 4.2 seconds down the street. Just RoboCop. Ugh, tough. I can't go far from here. But she's lost them. Uniform Greyhound was. Have you just seen anybody running to this area, have you? No. Do y'all hear Sophie talking right now after she just ran that far? She's not even out of breath. Have you got your torch on you, Katie? No, Somewhere around here. Convinced they've gone to ground, the Greyhound turns. Is Sophie real? It's Bloodhound. Is anyone running at you, pal? No, no, I'm just gonna walk. Sophie spotted someone acting suspiciously. Oh, shut up. How the pal, where have you just come from? Pardon? Where have you just come from, pal? To the pub. Where, where are you? Where have you just come from? Pub. From pub from there? From pub. He may have come from the pub. Pub? Yes, well, just put, just put us just, just give me the same for the time being. Just while we... But for a man coming from the pub, he looked a lot like a bloke hiding in a garden. No, let's have a look at this lad. Just give us two secs. A garden which Sophie learns isn't his. Tried to open the door. And he's got nothing to do with you. He shouldn't be coming to address at all. Perfect. Thank you very much. The pub goer may have mistaken. This is great. This is, this is, I, I don't want to say it. I hate to say it. 
But this is great work, Sophie. You're doing a great job. We've we've personally never seen this before. The ground floor flat. That's for the Red Lion. But that doesn't seem likely. She is the try hardest police officer I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> try the door handle on the on the flat to get in. Yeah, cool. Cool. Under the circumstances, the cops believe he's the driver. Uh, She's not even sweating. Are we satisfied he's from the view? Definitely. Okay, so you're under arrest yeah, for suspicion of okay. theft of the motor vehicle. Left? Yeah. Do you think I can do that? All right. Apparently so. Right, jump in. Thank you. I was going to put this belt on you. Quite happy that he's one of the runners from the vehicle. He's come up to the address at the back and tried the door handle. One down, one to go. It's like it's had run to the window and I've seen the signs go down the back of the houses. And An like eagle-eyed local has braved the cold with news of the second suspect. There was two of them um, that we've seen run up, so potentially there's another one gone into the gardens. I started... Sophie might be the greatest cop that we've ever seen on this show. This is... I've never seen... This is... I am... This Just is look in the sensational garden. work. It's when our attention's been drawn to other one. There's no sign of the other suspect. But the search has thrown up some interesting discoveries. There's two bags of cannabis as well. There's two bags of cannabis, huh? Okay, so should we start doing proper editing or what? Let's check it out. Show us the bags. Real quick. Not too bad Okay, wait. Not sure. There it is, y'all. And classic burglar's attire. Black gloves, both in the car and out. And lo and behold, a glove in uh, one of the gardens right in between where the car uh, has been abandoned and where the suspect has been arrested. And Chris is saying it's uh, one of the same gloves as uh, is in one of the, in the cars. Jeez. It's Cinderella with gloves, isn't it? I'm sure the glove will fit. She's talking kind of fast, ain't she? The dog team has arrived, and in the nick of time. Sophie, uh, I, you know what I'm saying? I just don't like her eyebrows, but but besides that, like I, I have the craziest, bushiest eyebrows in the world. We don't choose our eyebrows out here. <laughs> Shouts have gone up. They may have spotted the second suspect. Where's Sophie? He's well and truly surrounded. He should have stayed here. Man suspected of assault, and they're taking no chances. Finally, he's in bracelets and being marched off to the neck. Brilliant. Nice one, right? Yeah, take a seat back in there for this one, cute. Right. Gotta be ready. What more could you want? <laughs> it's the perfect end to a high-speed chase. Keep myself as fit as possible, um, and that's so. In occasions like this, I can keep on keep on the toes. Uh, I always say. She is proud about this. If you can too. lose me in hundred meters, uh, you've got a good chance to get away. If I can keep up for hundred meters, there's absolutely there's no chance I'll never give up. Uh, Let's try hard, little Terminator. I like that in you. I like that. I like that. With my thumbnail. And uh, hopefully, it'll show that I can run reasonably fast. Now, you was out of there. I'm talking about, like, when that door swung open, we knew that we had a hurdler on our hands. Olympic gold medalist. I'm talking about 2000. When was when, when was the, the Olympics in the UK? 2012. Somebody tell me. I could be very wrong, but she was on the team. She did a better job than I'd have done. She's uh, she's quick. Obviously. Hopefully, her typing speed is also fast. Paperwork time. Uh, no, nope, because so they're about to show it. Going Gardner about was to arrested show on suspicion of theft of a motor vehicle, fraudulent use of registration marks, okay. burglary, dangerous driving, and assault. The second suspect was not also it? arrested on suspicion of burglary and assault. Better safe than sorry. You know what I'm saying? Investigation is ongoing. Oh wait, I there it is. Believe. 
we get paid to do this. Yeah. Uh, you play cops and robbers as a kid, don't you? And we've just continued playing it yeah. as we've become adults. Brilliant. Yeah. All right, Sophie, you are making it weird for me. You gotta chill because I'm I'm trying. You know what I'm saying? But you chill chill out a little bit now. Don't you are an op. You know what they say about op girls. You know we mess with them still. Uh, high five. High five is crazy. Interceptors often pursue extremely fast cars. Yeah, speed is now at nine zero miles an hour. But once in a while, they come face to face with something. Tr I like honestly, y'all in the chat saying I got a crush on Sophie. I just like the hard work, the determination, the the, the willpower, the strength. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Hey, she a hard working woman in uniform. We like those. Salute. Truly special. This 1967 Morris Minor has just been stolen. Gotcha. You're not run out running nobody and in there. It's up against a 150 mile an hour cop car in reverse. But it's not about the size of your equipment. It's what you do with it. Romeo 70, Roger. This freaky narrator. Ooh, go Down this story, <coughs> Morris Minor now. Back of the road. Back towards Bradford. The 67 Moggy Minor could do 0 to 60 in 25 seconds. This is not the car for a chase. <laughs> Speed 45. 0 to 60 in 25 seconds is crazy. 5 miles per hour. That hasn't stopped the driver launching over speed bumps and weaving through traffic. Travelling towards junction with Cairn Lane. Stand by. Ready. Red light. Seven zero seven three for condition. Stand by. And it's gone right, right, right. Please run. Either that he's really. incredibly lucky or an exceptional driver. This is a coat of paint from disaster. Yeah, that's crazy. The suspected car thief is on the wrong side of the road as he leads the cops on a merry Morris dance towards Leeds. Leeds Road continuing, 70 miles per hour. Oh. He's flat out. Right, right. And thin enough to nip between bollards. Damn. Incredibly, the driver's pulling away. But a bit of 21st century grunt brings the interceptor back behind his vintage nemesis. <laughs> Speed is five zero miles per hour. The Morris almost loses it on a corner. I ain't gonna lie, dude, whipping this car. I don't condone running away from the police. But you know what I'm saying? I'm taking it in as y'all taking it in. He, he doing his. He's going crazy. And going left, 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 Paul Road. More death defying weaves through traffic and a pummeling from the speed bumps. But somehow, the 52 year old car is still oh, no. going. Thank you. I'm going on to Hutton uh, Terrace. Hutton Terrace is a dead end. But not for this guy. So you thought? It's gone off road, onto pavement, and I cannot continue onto Harrogate Road. The Morris Minor strap line was once <laughs> wizardry on wheels. Hey, he honked at him. Punch back, no punch back. What is it? What is it? Hatchback, no punch back. When you see a red beetle, did y'all used to do that in the UK when y'all was kids? Has disappeared. The miner that made a major getaway was found abandoned and undamaged a mile from its escape point. And when the interceptors track down the wizard behind the wheel, How his driving license will also disappear. How oh, when they track him down. Okay, you won't. 
I don't believe that you will. Coming up. No, we don't watch coming ups. All right, no, wait. We got to pre it a little bit to make sure there's no more, you know what I'm saying, paraphernalia. Okay, I see some paraphernalia. All right, we see it. Hold on, where is it? Where's the mark at? All right, we know it's coming up. We know paraphernalia is coming up. Burglaries in England and Wales are on the rise top editor but the interceptors are doing their best to bring those statistics down there's a car it's just at the NPR cameras where a gentleman's wanted for domestic uh, crimes which are a damage and burglary so I think to his ex-partner's address if you burgle your ex's house in broad daylight you're crying out to get nicked is that Can you give his car details again we're about two miles off. A little bit ahead of us, just towards Bradford City Centre. We are a little bit behind at the minute. Nothing a fast car, but speed bump. Heavy right foot and a little local knowledge can't solve. This goes down to Wet Lane here, which if we turn right, we should intercept it. Snaking through the back streets, the cop they call Benny Boy. Benny Boy. Easy Pearson navigates West York. Benny was good, man. He got his own channel and things of that nature. Like a six foot sat nav. With a little help from wingman Dan Bell. Clear left. The uh, cash guy is just approaching Fall Lane and Junction. So they've got it on camera now in the city centre on CCTV. It is a, a large fella, so he's probably going to be able to handle himself if he has to. You're a big lad, though, Dan. Yeah, yeah. Sure, once he takes one look at me. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna create, y'all? I'm gonna create a scene like, like, uh, like how I can pop up these socials like this on here. I'm gonna create a scene where I can pop up a blur screen that blurs the entire screen out except my face. So that way, you know what I'm saying? Pre-edits, you know. The suspect is in traffic Smart. up ahead. Oh, that was a big one. And after some first class driving, they finally have eyes on his car. There we go. He said, Hi, I know he has a channel. He, we reacted to his uh, channel before. Or we reacted to him before, telling his story about how he used to come into this every day at work, feeling depressed and trying not to let it spill over with the cameras being there and all of this and that. Yeah, we got it inside. It was interesting. Um, how far off are you, Steve? Just coming up to us, go to the on Canal Road. The plan is to box in the Nissan using multiple vehicles. Yeah, Mel's just looked in his mirror. He's aware that we're here. But there's a worry he'll make off. What's your ETA, Steve? I'm just looking at me. Cool. One more what bit of paraphernalia. Him when he goes back tonight and does something else. As the target car pulls up at the lights, Finally, reinforcements arrive behind Ben. Yeah, come up the bus lane, still held at red lights now. Um, we're directly behind the vehicle, although the lights are just going green. I'm just putting it on here. The lights are green and the car's about to pull away. So they decide to strike. Right here? I thought he's going for it, isn't he? And the world's slowest box works a treat. He definitely trying to run, for sure. Hi, pal. How's it going? Is it all right? Is it your car? Just keep your... Keep your... Yeah, me. Let me just text someone and tell them I'm getting locked. Listen, um, been a bit of a problem with your missus, aren't there? Yeah. I'm just going to put these on, because you're a big lad. Come thought... up, get car safe in a minute. Just jump in back of our car for us. Yeah, it's all right. Just film. 
Minor thing, mate. Well, we, I don't know, mate. I don't know. We, we've been asked to look out for you. you said that's we've, true. we've seen you, and that's what we've done. We gotta be they drive back to the Nick in convoy. Dan in the Nissan, up. Ben with the suspect. Hold on, hold on. Let me sit up. <sighs> Just let us get you down to the station, pal. They need to search him and his car. When you uh, stop, you check in the face of the telly, unit. I see he told the television. Yes, sir. The telly. The TV. Goggle box, we call him in Yorkshire. The ex claims okay, he's nicked go. her goggle box. Oh, we're landing at Nick now, so we'll have a look back at Cal when we get there. Whether or not he's nabbed a flat screen keepsake from his ex missus. Team car don't look big enough. In the man's mind. Marry me. Yo, pal. Marry. Divorced. Local, it didn't go right well. Great, wow. See what I'm saying? See, see what I'm saying? Like what he's saying. I mean, he was going through divorce. He was going through this. this he had a lot going on. Yeah. Fortunately, uh, things happened. Story is so. crazy. You see his demeanor? Marriage guidance over. Ben leads the suspect inside, leaving Dan to search the Nissan. Here it comes. I'll just take him in, Dan. I'll just take him through, though. Come we down here. Here it is. It's it's scales and all sorts in it. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. There's no TV there in the boot. Yeah, yeah. Just must be in it. I was married in the car, you know, when I was driving it back. But there are multiple bags of cannabis and a set of scales. Ben? Enough to There's arrest so much the driver cannabis. for possession with intent to supply. P wits as well, class B. Anything you want to say? How oh, else? Ah, come on in. There wasn't enough evidence to charge him with burglary. However, he was charged with criminal damage and possession of cannabis. Ah! He awaits his day in court, but it was a big arrest for Dan. How dare they do that? Certainly bigger than me. And it'd be embarrassing if he just pushed his way past me and ran off. A bit chingy, but like in a breeze block, wouldn't it? Yeah. Having a face like yours, it chisels like a bronze and steel. Crazy part is, I'm still going to go back and blur it. Because I'm already knowing. Like all great minds, interceptors are seekers of truth. How old are you? Well, 61. <laughs> <laughs> and interceptor philosophy says, trust no one. Have you got some fake idea with your fake date of birth on, Joseph? When they're giving false details, you can sometimes, you know, get that sense that they're not, not be all, being altogether truthful with you. They'll be fidgety, they'll just forget for a second and, and stumble. You've caught them already without even putting pen to paper. Sniffing out bull is as much a part of the job as high-speed driving. And some shifts call for both. I've just seen two cars put onto bypass and we're doing 110 mile an hour and we can't catch them, so... Yeah, it's It's Saturday evening. The two drivers ahead have just sped past Clarky and Nick and slammed on their brakes to have a chat on the A650. But how dumb do you have to be to do this? Like, what are, what are you even thinking? Doesn't seem smart. Uh, window down. Get your window down. Keys out. It's a two for one day on the Bingley bypass. Right. Who's coming first? You want to come with us? You stay here. Do you know how fast you were doing on there? Nice. We're 110. Yeah, you're doing 110 miles now on a 50. Clarky takes the driver of the white car. I think in America you get booked for that. Uh, you're going to jail. <laughs> you can impound it for going that fast over the speed limit up. Right. Do you know how we stopped you? Yeah? 
Yeah. Don't insult my intelligence, please. <laughs> Put it fast. Okay. Spell your first name. H. Yeah. A-I-D-E-R. What's your date of birth, Ada, please? So, Hada here is 24. How old are you? 25. Say again. 25. You're not 25. At least you're not if you were born in 1994. Oh dear. When did he pass your Nobody ever forgets the year they're born. Driving test. This story is holier than the Archbishop of Canterbury. Have you got any identification with you? Nothing at all, because that before I go from here. I'm going to be happy that you are who you say you are. Yeah, of course, 100%. Right, what you got phone-wise with your, phone. with your phone? phone? Your mobile. Rhodes Policing has entered the digital age. Just fire it on, mate. Just have to bring your Facebook up and let's just see what it is. I'm not looking at your actual images. But I'll have some, there's something with your name on it. And Nick wants Hader to prove his identity. I remember an officer asked me to do that before. He said, pull up your... Something like social or something, something, something with your name on it. I was like, I gave him a real name though. He just thought I was lying. I was like, hey, weirdo. Hey, via social media. You trying to follow me? What you doing? Got me there, boss. Wrong name. And the artist formerly known as Hader is nicked. Hello. Can I get up the car then? Huh? I'm not laughing. I'm just giggling. Take a seat there. Yeah. Front seat? So who's headed? I did this brother. Your brother. The driver was pretending. L brother. Throw your brother under the bus to get him points on his license? To be his brother. So have you got a driving license? Um, That's a note then. Okay. You have a license, is it a full license or a disqualified license? <laughs> full UK license. Full, so why are you lying to? Just because of no insurance? Yeah, that's is that it. That's all it is. I'm not a one man or anything. Okay. These two clowns think it's acceptable to do 110 mile an hour on this road here. The A650 is one of the most dangerous roads in West Yorkshire, with 18 casualties in a typical year. And then. Well, they've got alongside each other, slow down and block the highway while they have a chitty chat for a window. And Clarkie plans to give them something to chitty chat about. Getting reported for uh, well in excess of the speed limit. It's an instant ban. They will lose the licence, there's no two ways about it. 110 and a 50. They're walking. Yeah, so you're done for. 110 and a 50, so you're in the UK, they do it too. You're out of there. They can remove the cuffs. Oh, but now nah, you'd on. be good. Leave them on. Begging to stay in bracelets is a first. Oh, leave them on, leave them on. Yeah. Leave them on. I want to take a picture. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. I knew this was a good boy. He never got into no trouble and wanted to take a picture of the man cuffs on his hand. Don't nobody want to really take a picture of that? Are you sick of this? He's a smart one. He goes, what's your name? He goes, I don't know. He goes, the laughing boys are both getting reported for speeding. And the lad with no insurance has got his brother's car seized. Oh, You're and it's his brother's car. How many people have you got to fill out just for doing that? Oh, oh tons. Man. Weeks and weeks. Is it worth it? Is it? Oh, yes. Yes, they're officers, obviously. So. Whatever, I'm bad to <laughs> It'd be stuff like that. Would that be just like that? Just be ruining my, you know what I'm saying? My whole outlook on police officer. They talking about another one bites the dust and then looking each other in the eye and then laughing at the same time. Like, y'all so corny? Like, that was corny, look. I never run back to this. <laughs> Is that the same person twice? They twins? This brother's not gonna be happy, but I don't care. 
Speak of the devil. It's been recovered, mate. Has you, uh, you, have you spoken to your brother at all? I was just rang him now. You can see the. You just rang me now. Said the card got taken. Has it? Yeah. When do I get it back? That'll be Monday. Ask him why we've stopped him, and he'll tell you. And you won't have any complaints with us seizing it. Put it that way. Nah, I'd still be mad. The driver of the white car was reported for speeding. He can expect a brown envelope dropping onto his doorstep in the not too distant future, containing a hefty fine and lengthy driving ban. As for the lad who had his brother's motor seized, he was also charged with speeding, plus driving with no insurance. He can expect a longer ban than his mate and a heftier fine. Of course. That should make the road safer and wipe the smiles from their faces. They'll go home tonight and they'll be laughing and joking with their mates. And, you know, they've had the photographs taken inside the police car, it's great. And in the morning they'll think... When the brown envelope drops on the doormat, yeah. that's when they'll really think, oh, well, that's funny, wouldn't it? We'll not put the brown envelope on Facebook. Turn off, please. Still... So took her handbag off. Hold on. He said something about a brown bag. And I, I hope it was alcohol. Okay. Casualties from drink driving are at a four year high in the UK. How much you want to drink? He's thinking of it. And 75% of drink drivers. Deep breath from you, mate. Have one thing in common. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. They're all men. OK, so you're reading he's 87 and the legal limit is 35. Mm, well, of course, women are smarter than us and they value their lives more than men. Uh, so, of course, they get intoxicated and stay home. Stay wherever they at. Mm. It's Sunday night. Nick Priestley and Steve Bobo Wright are responding to a tip-off about dodgy driving. Yeah, what we've got is a, a call from a member of public regarding this vehicle here. They've raised concerns about this uh, this Mercedes, quite rightly so, because it's manual driving. Uh, is all over the road, so he's clearly yeah, under, I would suggest, some influence. Oh, and or is ill. The car's doing a fair impression of a slalom skier on the piste. And with the cavalry in place... We've got someone behind us. It's time to light it up and box it in. Say goodbye. Bring it down nice and gently, nice and gently. Vehicle stop, thank you. With the Merc stationary, Nick and Bobo head out to say hello. Turn off, please. That's How a Mercedes? How are you? Yeah. And I said one. Just leave your bag. Just leave your bag. Just step, just, just stop. Just step out of the car. Go to my colleague. Come this way, Go my, to my friend. No, no, no. no. Yeah, that's Come a woman. Again. Bring that with you. Come with us. Statistically, female drivers are safer than men. I'll be honest with you, you're all over the road. Damn it. But there are exceptions. Absolutely all over the road. And I can already smell intoxicants on your breath. Just jump in the car for me here. In the Beamer, Steve highlights a key flaw in her driving. You can't stay in a straight line. All right, you're all over the road. I can smell intoxicants, so I'm going to require you to provide me with a sample of breath. When did you last have a drink? Uh, five five o'clock. Four or five o'clock, that's fine. If that's true, she's had seven hours for the booze to leave her system. That sounds like kibbity cap. What I need you to do, create, so I'll hold the machine. I need you to create a seal around that tube and blow nice and steadily till I tell you to stop. I'll hold the machine. All right, you ready? I'll hold the machine. You just breathe into it for me. Big deep breath, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, that's it, thank you. It's a short wait for the inevitable. You've provided me with a positive breath sample. What's the okay. number? So at this moment in time, I'm arresting you on suspicion of driving whilst over the prescribed limit, okay? We'll take you to the police station, we'll get you booked in, and then we'll do an evidential breath test, okay? 
Drivers sometimes fail the roadside breath test, but are released if they pass at the station. I'm going to be honest with you, though, that's a fairly high reading you've given. I think you know that. When I can take my home. Uh, when can you go home? Yeah. Uh, when, you're, uh, when you're sober enough to leave the police station. In other words, don't make any plans for tonight. The last time, about four o'clock. You're drunk. The test says you're capping. At four o'clock? Yeah. Well, what did you have and to I drink? I slept. She had a Long Island iced some, tea. Some vodka. A vodka. Yeah. Before they leave for the station, Nick spots a potential problem for the coming breath test. Just, uh, just give me that in your mouth, my love. Just, take, just spit it out. Thank you. Just in my mouth. Thank you very much. I know it is. I know, but you can't. Bro, it in my mouth. I know. Okay. Thank you, darling. Okay. Thank you, my love. Sweet. I know it is. I know. I know. I know. Okay. I know. No problem. No, I'm done. No more sweeties. Pass, pass me. What's done is done. Purse. It can. I'm not saying it will. It, it can create a, an element of doubt. You know, have you had anything after you've been stopped by the police? Yeah, I had a sweetie. So that's what we do. We don't. We don't let them have anything to drink, anything to eat. Um, smoking of cigarettes. Sweeties confiscated. A long night lies Is ahead that, that leads Nick. Exactly tell me please what time I can go home. Because in my home is two cats. I need help to them. I take care for them. Two cats. You can go home when your alcohol devils are below the legal, at the legal drive limit. What time? So into the, well, I don't know. It depends. <laughs> you know what time? Who knows? I can ask them. Who knows? The evidential breath testing machine. That's who. Just leave your bag. No, it's my bag. It's our bag while you're here. We look after it. She has just took a bit of a dislike to me, I think, because um, I've took her handbag off her. Harder. A minute with the machine. Keep going. Keep going. Excellent. Keep going. Thank you. For That's impressive. I, could, I don't think I can do this. Very much. Brilliant. Confirms the harsh truth. What is it? The no. drink driving limit is 35. Mm. You're 73. So you're twice the drink drive limit. And you're staying the night. Come on. You've got the work. See you cats in the morning. I push, I can't get in. Can't get out. <laughs> Come on. She rubbing that man back. <laughs> Come, on. Come on. The driver, with a taste for vodka and sweeties, was found guilty of drink driving. She lost her license for 18 months and was fined a total of £465. But it's not all bad news. She did win one night's free accommodation. Hey, Oliver, there's a blanket for you. All right. That blanket looks comfortable. Looks soft. Take, oh, you're welcome, love. Take care, darling. Stand by, stand by. Contact with the subject vehicle. Prime is on the right. This is clearly for the next episode. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your posts. I'm going. Hopefully, I can save this and watch this one too. This is, um. I'm going.